welcome to the second vlogmas video. Today is Friday the 4th of December and four days into December before I say anything else I have to draw your attention to the fact that it is currently snowing and I'm so excited. I love snow so much and all the more so because I'm working from home which means I don't even have to go outside so I can just watch the snowflakes falling around me and feel really cozy and lovely and warm inside and just get excited for Christmas. Now we don't get a massive amount of snow in the UK. When I was like a lot younger, like when I was a child, we would get like white Christmases sometimes but the last time that we had like thick heavy snow to my recollection was maybe like was my last year of university so like going on three years ago now so we don't get a heavy snow every year by any means and I don't know if today's snow is actually going to set because it has been raining basically all week and so the ground is very wet but either way it's snowing, it's December, and I'm feeling so festive, which seems like the perfect way to kick off the second of Vlogmas video. And now that I've got the snow out of the way, something else that I am snow excited about is of course my tea advent calendar. So without further ado, it is the fourth day of December, so let's find the door on my tea vent calendar and kick off today's vlog with here's the tea. Okay, I found day number four. I have to like try and make sure I don't rip the doors, but I try not to like actually look at what's inside until it's fully open, which makes it kind of difficult. Oh, the snow just looks so pretty. Okay, the door is open and the tea is... Here's the tea. Ooh, what? Cold brew? Tea pigs, it's bloody December. Oh, I'm actually a little bit disappointed. Do you think you can make this a hot tea? Because I'm thinking about doing that. I'm definitely not drinking a cold tea today. But either way, cold brew in December, you've got to be having a laugh. But regardless, I'm going to go make a warm peach and mango tea um, and see what that's like. <laughs> sadly kind of slowing down and when I just tried to show this mug with the snow falling around it it kind of just looked like rain on the camera although I promise it is teeny tiny snowflakes it's like snow showers so it keeps going from like quite big heavy snowflakes to like tiny little ones that just look like rain and then I think there's a little bit of rain mixed in as well and then the snow comes back so who knows what might happen by the end of the day but either way I'm so happy that we have seen at least some snow this December even if it hasn't set and even if this is the only snow we get. I'm still so excited about it. Now on to the tea. Now obviously this was a cold brew tea but I have made it as a hot one because it's bloody freezing, it's snowing outside. So it smells amazing. It was I think peach and mango and it smells incredible. It's kind of like there are some little sweets that I remember eating when I was younger. They're kind of like a circle like chewy sweet and half of it is peach and half of it is another flavour and it smells just like those sweets. So without further ado, I'm gonna taste it and hope that it tastes as delicious as it smells because this is probably the nicest smelling tea out of the four that I've had so far. Definitely not quite as strong of a flavor as like the smell is but I think that's often the case with fruity teas but it does have like a subtle sweet mangoey flavor and it's definitely nice this one also said um 
like unlike the other ones where you just brew them for like three to five minutes this one said basically the longer you leave the tea bag in the stronger it will taste so i'm just gonna leave it in and oh that one was definitely more peachy mm. yeah definitely a fan of this one it is really really lovely obviously don't know if that would affect the flavor if i did it as a cold brew instead but i wasn't willing to sacrifice my uh, core body temperature to try a cold brew tea so we've gone with hot and i think i made a good decision do not know where the last eight or so hours have gone but it's now friday evening i've just been watching a little bit of the crown which as you know from my most recent vlogs i am absolutely loving so i thought i would mention because the thing that has kind of been going around on tiktok is a lot of hate for prince charles and of course camilla based on the storyline with princess diana which totally makes sense however i'm currently only on season Three, so um, Princess Diana isn't actually in it yet. And so far, I really like Prince Charles. He seems like such a nice guy and kind of just like a victim of the monarchy. And kind of my perception of the whole thing with him and Diana, at least from like my understanding, is that, you know, like they were both kind of forced under false pretenses into this unhappy marriage. He obviously didn't want to be in it. She was kind of in it thinking that she was marrying a prince, but then he didn't really love her, but he was only in the marriage because he was forced to by his parents. And so it kind of just seems like an indictment of the monarchy and like the higher up people, like the queen and everything, rather than of like Charles himself. And I just think it's so interesting because a lot of people have been very, very, very hateful towards them on like social media on TikTok and all that kind of stuff and also very rude to Camilla in terms of appearance which I feel like is so not in keeping with how we are supposed to be on social media like if you feel critical of her actions that's one thing but a lot of people have been comparing her and Diana in terms of appearance and being like a lot nicer to Diana obviously because she was really great and cool and nice but then really like sort of scathing and mean about appearance about the other people and it just seems kind of wrong so I'd love to know any of your guys' take on it obviously it's all down to personal opinion but based on my limited knowledge of the monarchy and what I'm at in the crown so far basically just a part where Charles is kind of suffering in a family where he isn't really loved listened to and is kind of just a pawn in the like monarchy and the like hierarchy of that kind of society and he kind of doesn't really have any choice about it so that's where I'm at with that totally didn't think I was going to have this conversation now but it happened so there we go would love to know all of your thoughts the thing that I actually wanted to talk to you about was mince pies <laughs> so it is of course Christmas and I'm about to heat up a delicious mince pie well I'm hoping it's going to be delicious this one is one that I've never tried before it's from Tesco's plant chef range and so I saw this when we did our food shop today and thought that I had to try them but I'm personally a big fan of mince pies I know that they're not actually a thing everywhere but they definitely are here in the UK and for anyone who's confused because obviously mince is also like a meat this is obviously vegan and mince pies are not meat pies they're basically filled with loads of different pieces of fruit so this one has sultanas raisins and currants and then they're basically like 
soaked in some kind of juice and there's loads of spices, cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, all that kind of stuff and then it's in pastry and it basically tastes like Christmas in pie form. So first of all, I'd love to know if you actually have them where you live and if so, where do you live? Are you in the UK as well or are you somewhere else? And then secondly, if you do have them and you know what they taste like, I'd like to know whether you like them. Because I do, but I know they're kind of like a hit or miss kind of Christmas food and a lot of people don't like them. So I'd love to know if you do, but I definitely do. And I'm gonna go and heat one up now and have it with a cup of tea, then get back to my evening long date with The Crown season three. <laughs> Saturday guys, it is now the 5th of December and today is shaping up to be a super fun, festive, cosy, Christmassy day which I'm so excited about. It is also a lot brighter and sunnier than yesterday which is quite nice because although yesterday morning I was obviously so excited about the snow, after about 10am it stopped snowing completely and just turned into freezing cold rain all day long so it was a very cold and gloomy day whereas this morning it's like a winter Sunday so it's very crisp and cold but looks super bright which was perfect because as you've seen we kickstarted our weekend by going to like cut down our own Christmas tree at a Christmas tree farm near us which was so much fun. We weren't sure if we were going to be able to do it this year. We went last year and it was amazing and we obviously wanted to do it again this year but obviously with lockdown and various restrictions we weren't sure if it was going to be open but it was so we went this morning and it was so much fun. There was a slight debate in our house this morning though between real trees and artificial. Jay and I were 100% on the side of real trees because we love them but his mum, sister and dad weren't as keen so we had a little bit of a debate and it ended up going to a poll on my Instagram stories which thankfully ended up in favour of real trees but I would love to know whether you guys prefer real trees or artificial. I know artificial trees are like a lot less hassle because you can just use the same one every single year but I just think real trees are so special and I love 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 the smell of like pine trees at Christmas time and it's so nice to have that in the living room. So we will be decorating that tree later on we put up the other tree that we have so we have one artificial tree that goes up in the kitchen every year that one is already up and decorated we did that earlier this week but then we'll be decorating the real one later on this afternoon and fingers crossed I'm hoping to watch a Christmas film as well so it's going to be a super cozy afternoon but for now the tree is just sitting in the living room and we're letting the branches drop before we put any decorations on. But Christmas trees aside, it is time for Here's the Tea. So without further ado, let's dig into my tea vent calendar and see what is behind door number five. Okay, first of all, to find it. Number five. Oh, there we go. Found it. <laughs> door number five. Not looking. I want something cosy, I want something cosy, I want something cosy. What is it? Chai tea, yes! I love chai! Chai is literally my favorite ever, ever, ever. So this has made me so happy. So this one says, what is special about this tea? This is an Assam tea with spices and cinnamon flavoring. Variations of aromatic spiced milky tea have been the Indian drink of choice for hundreds of years. We've blended rich malty Assam tea with exotic cardamom pods, cinnamon, ginger, and vanilla to develop our own blend of this delicious, satisfying, and yummy beverage that encapsulates all of the colors and vibrancy of India in a cup. Oh my goodness, amazing. So I'm gonna be making this one with like milk and sugar and it is gonna be good. I could not be happier with this one. I'm so excited. So 
So I've got my tea, I've got my Christmas tree crumpets, which are delicious, but literally this chai smells so incredible. Chai is, in my opinion, a combination of all of the best flavors and it is just such a wonderful drink. I absolutely love anything chai flavored. It's just so amazing. And I can already tell this is a contender to my favorite tea from this advent calendar. So far, this one is in competition with the tea from day one, which was the spiced Christmas tea, but this one could very well knock that out of first place. So let's give it a taste. I made this one with just a spoonful of sugar and also with oat milk as well. Oh my God. It's just so like sweet and creamy and spicy and I love chai. This one is so yummy. Yum. A little creamy, you must have a shot. Cheers. Quick fire, what's your favourite Christmas song? Oh my god, I'm not going to get quick fire. Three, two, one, favourite like, Christmas song? I quite like the John Yoko Ono one, that's quite fun. War is over. No, yeah, that's War is over. Fun. Okay. My one is Last Christmas by Wham. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't, I don't. You don't like that one, but you were just doing your own rendition of it earlier? Yeah, it's fun to sing. <laughs> then you do like it. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> Okay, Half cool. of that is cream. I know. Wow. I mean, it's good though. You have to pay extra for the cream yeah. marshmallows. Up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm, hot. Oh, I'm just gonna fish this last one out so I have to do that again. <laughs> I fall into peace 
and I need to do something about this mop on my head. I apologize that you're having to see this. Um, today has gone so quickly. As you saw, we decorated the tree. Love, love, love it. Tree decorating is just so much fun. The lights are not so much fun to put on, but then when you're putting all the baubles on and the lights are flickering, it just looks so beautiful and I love it so much. Em and I also recorded the podcast, it was episode four, and that kind of sounds like not that many episodes into it. It feels like we've already been doing it for like such a long time and it just feels so much fun. It's definitely one of my favorite parts of the week, especially because given the like lockdown and then just like general restrictions on seeing people, it's always nice to actually like catch up with Em every week and just chat about whatever the topic was. So this week's topic was the theme of deciding what on earth to do with your life, which is a big topic and is I think something that a lot of people struggle with and also like figuring out like if you've made the right decision is also like a tough thing to decide as well. So we discussed that as the main topic. Then we had two really good agony aunt questions. One was on like how to decide what to keep public and what to keep private when you are online. I feel like I share quite a lot here. So that was quite an interesting one because I don't think I keep a lot of things private and I'm pretty open, but it's always interesting to discuss. Then the final one was on the theme of dealing with guilt around food at this time of year, which is something that I think a lot of people deal with as someone who has dealt with um, like disordered eating and an eating disorder throughout my teenage years. It's something that was definitely um, familiar to me. So I hope that we were able to like shine some light on that and basically maybe make you just feel a little bit less alone if you are also dealing with that situation so that topic and um, that podcast episode will be coming out on Wednesday which will be Wednesday the let me see Wednesday the 9th of December, so a couple of days after this vlog goes live. So if those topics sound at all interesting to you, then please feel free to go and give us a listen. The podcast, if you're not aware, is We're Spinning Plates. Um, and I'm loving recording it. It's so much fun. I am not loving, however, my crazy hair, which just does not want to be tamed. So since re uh, recording the podcast episode and also putting up the tree, um, I've just been listening to some Christmas music, just had a shower, which is why my hair is being a little bit unruly, and I was listening to Christmas music in the shower, and I just thought, of, we talked about this earlier in the car, but I wonder, what are your guys' favourite Christmas songs? It's so difficult to decide because... There are so many great ones, so I'm just gonna look through my Spotify playlist, see if I can, I know my favorite, favorite, favorite one, as I mentioned earlier, is Last Christmas by Wham. I love George Michael so much, and that one is just such a good song. I also love Band-Aid, um, Do They Know It's Christmas? That one is so, so good. I also love the Michael Bublé version of Christmas, Baby Please Come Home. I also love The Fairy Tale of New York by the Pogues. I also love Ariana Grande's, um, what's it called? It seems to have disappeared from my Christmas playlist. Rude. Why is it not on there? 
Santa Tell Me. I love that one. I don't like a lot of like new Christmas songs, but Ariana's Santa Tell Me is just so good. So definitely let me know in the comments down below what your favourite Christmas songs are, I would love to know. And now that I have basically done everything that I need to do today, I'm settling down back in my pyjamas and I'm about to pick up The Love Square, which is the book that I'm currently reading. I made it to about halfway through this book in my last vlog and I didn't do any reading yesterday so I'm still at that halfway point, page 152. So I'm going to do a little bit of reading now, then probably make some dinner, maybe watch some of The Crown and then carry on reading after that. We just finished watching our Saturday evening film of choice, which was a Holiday. And honestly, it was so much better than either of us expected. We were just looking for something that was going to be obviously like a light-hearted, festive film. But crucially, we wanted one that neither of us had ever seen before. And that is such a struggle because honestly, like Christmas films are limited, and you know, most of the good ones are like ones that you rewatch every single year. But because we're only on the 5th of December, we kind of don't want to dive into into like the proper Christmas classics yet. So we were kind of stuck with all of the ones that you're kind of not sure if they're gonna be completely terrible or kind of good. And luckily this one was actually kind of good. It wasn't super festive, but it was a fun like rom-com film and it was actually really, really nice to watch. So I'm super glad that we did that. Did mean I didn't have a chance to watch The Crown, but of course The Crown isn't going anywhere so I can continue with that tomorrow probably. Haven't done a huge amount of reading, but I am now almost through with this book and I hate to say but this has been quite an underwhelming read. I thought that this was going to be such a fun book because it seemed like it was such an interesting concept. We have this woman Penny who is unlucky in love and then supposedly all at once three different guys turn up that she really likes and that really like her or at least that is how the blurb kind of made it seem but actually it seems like the men kind of come across like one by one and gradually she has like these various romantic encounters each of which are like somewhat connected but not massively and that isn't quite what I thought I was getting into and then I just feel like it's one of those situations where she's like completely self-sabotaging and there is really obvious romantic choices and she's just choosing not to go for them for no apparent reason and it just kind of seems like there's drama and complication thrown into this book for the sake of it and it just doesn't really feel that enticing because it does just feel very forced so honestly not loving this one I'll probably finish it either tonight after I finish editing this video or tomorrow but honestly would probably not recommend it because it it just kind of doesn't feel like a natural flowing romance. It just feels very orchestrated and like I said, complex for the sake of being complex. So not loving it, but aside from that, I've been having a great day and I actually feel like the like holiday movie was a way more fun romantic concept. Not that I'm like comparing everything, but when you're kind of like in the middle of one romance and then you come across another, it kind of just feels like one always seems better than the other and in this case that movie was way more enticing than this book unfortunately but like I said I do need to conclude today's vlog here I know this vlogmas video has probably been a little bit shorter and snappier than the last one and I promise that going forward they will be like more evenly spread and I'll probably have like three days in one and four days in the other each of the two vlogs per week however today is Saturday the 5th as you well know and tomorrow I need to put this vlog up to announce the winner of the giveaway that I announced a couple of weeks ago so I'm hosting a giveaway which was in collaboration 
collaboration with 17 London, a really, really, really cool backpack company that offered to collaborate with me on a giveaway. So they are giving away one of their backpacks, which I absolutely love. So whoever the winner is gets to choose a backpack from 17 London. And then I am throwing in a book of your choice from anywhere that does international shipping. So that is ending today. So I need to pick a winner and announce it in this vlog. So without further ado, I have found a random YouTube comment picker because let's just check, the current total amount of comments is 290 comments. To enter the um, like the giveaway, you had to basically tell me your favorite book from 2020 so far and the book that you're really excited to read before the end of the year. And there were so many amazing comments and I honestly wish that all of you could win because it was so nice to see so many of you getting involved and I will definitely, definitely be doing more giveaways in future. But of course, in this one, there can be just the one winner because it's in collaboration with a brand and they are just offering the one backpack. So without further ado, let us find our randomly selected YouTube comment using a random picker because honestly, I was never gonna be able to choose one from that many comments because it's just so hard because you all left such good books. So without further ado, let's do it. Okay, so we are on a YouTube random comment selector. So here is the URL for my video. We have to let it choose the comments. Okay, and then I think this is how we find a random winner. So let's find out who has won this giveaway. Congratulations to Danielle Yarbrough, who is so nice. She said that she loves my videos and it's so nice of me to do a giveaway. So thank you so much for entering. Her favorite book was A Court of Mist and Fury, which I have not read. And she's most excited to finish Shiver. Ooh, well, thank you so much, Danielle. I will be commenting back on your comment to let you know that you are the winner and let you know how you can claim your prize. And a big, big thank you to everyone else who entered as well. So there we have it, an official winner for this giveaway. A big, big thank you to 17 London for collaborating with me on this because it has been so exciting to be able to offer you not only a book, but also a super cool backpack. And of course, the winner this time around is Danielle. So congratulations to you. But to everyone else, if you didn't win this time around, I am definitely, definitely planning to host more giveaways like this in the future. So hopefully there'll be plenty more opportunities to win cool things like this. And just in general, thank you all for commenting, for getting involved and just for making this channel such a wonderful place because I really do appreciate every single one of you who watches and comments and I'm glad that I can kind of like give something back with giveaways like this and I'll definitely be doing more in the future. And on that note, I'm gonna be finishing this second Vlogmas vlog up here. Hope you enjoyed seeing the last couple of days of December, cutting down a Christmas tree, decorating, and of course, watching even more of The Crown. But I will catch up with you in the next one. I'll of course be vlogging every day throughout December, so you'll see exactly what I'm up to tomorrow. And I'll see you in a few days when the next Vlogmas vlog goes live. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.